Title, Unveiling the Great Flood of Noah, a Comparative Analysis Across Myths, the Bible and the Quran. In the human history, amidst the myths and legend, few tales command as much intrigue and fascination as the story of Noah and the Great Flood. But what if I told you that this narrative, with its ark, its divine wrath, and its promise of renewal, echoes not only through the pages of the Bible, but also resonates across cultures and religions, weaving a universal thread of human experience? Join me as we embark on a journey to unravel the enigmatic depths of the great flood of Noah, exploring its myriad interpretations across myths, the Bible, and the Quran. Beginning with an interesting video, I request to kindly subscribe to the channel after watching the video. The story of Noah and the Great Flood is a narrative steeped in mystique, echoing through the chapters of human history in various forms. While most are familiar with its depiction in the Bible, the flood myth also permeates other cultures and religions, each offering unique insights into the human condition and the divine. Delving into these narratives reveals a rich tapestry of cultural heritage and theological inquiry. Long before the biblical account, Ancient civilizations recounted flood narratives as part of their mythologies. One of the earliest known versions hails from Mesopotamia, encapsulated in the Epic of Gilgamesh. In this epic, the hero Utnapishtim is forewarned by the god Ea about an impending deluge meant to cleanse the earth of humanity's corruption. Utnapishtim, like Noah, builds an ark to preserve life. Greek mythology offers a parallel tale in the form of Deucalion and Pyrrha, who survive a catastrophic flood sent by Zeus to punish humanity's wickedness. Their resilience leads to the repopulation of the earth through the casting of stones that transform into humans. Similarly, Hindu mythology features the story of Manu, who is warned by the god Vishnu about an impending flood. Manu builds a massive boat to withstand the deluge, eventually becoming the progenitor of a new human race. In the book of Genesis, the narrative of Noah unfolds as a divine response to humanity's moral decay. Noah, described as a righteous man, is chosen by God to build an ark to escape the impending flood. He, along with his family and pairs of every animal species, seeks refuge in the ark as the flood waters engulf the earth for forty days and nights. After the waters recede, a rainbow appears as a symbol of God's covenant with humanity, promising never to destroy the earth again in this manner. In Islam, the story of Noah, Nu in Arabic, is prominently featured in the Quran. The Quranic account closely parallels the biblical narrative, portraying Noah as a prophet sent by Allah to warn his people of the impending flood. Despite facing ridicule and rejection, Noah remains steadfast in his mission, tirelessly calling his people to repent. Eventually, he is commanded to build an ark, guided by divine revelation. The flood, sent as a punishment for humanity's transgressions, becomes a means of purification and renewal. Noah and the believers are spared, while the disbelievers face divine retribution. Across these diverse accounts, common themes emerge, symbolizing humanity's inherent struggles with morality, divine judgment, and the quest for redemption. The motif of the Ark represents salvation and divine protection amidst chaos, while the floodwaters symbolize both destruction and the potential for rebirth. The narrative underscores the importance of faith, obedience, and perseverance in the face of adversity. The story of Noah's Ark has left an indelible mark on human culture, inspiring artistic expressions, literature, and theological discourse across millennia. Its enduring appeal lies in its ability to transcend religious boundaries, resonating with people of diverse faiths and backgrounds. By studying its variations across different traditions, we gain deeper insights into the shared human experience and the perennial quest for meaning in the face of existential challenges. The Great Flood of Noah stands as a timeless testament to the human capacity for resilience, faith, and renewal.
Across myths, the Bible, and the Quran, this narrative continues to captivate hearts and minds, offering solace, inspiration, and profound spiritual insights. As we unravel its intricacies and explore its cultural significance, we embark on a journey of discovery that transcends temporal and religious divides, reaffirming our shared humanity and the enduring power of myth to illuminate the human experience. Moving towards conclusion, I remind you to please like, share, comment on video, and subscribe the channel. As we navigate the rich cultural heritage and theological inquiry surrounding the Great Flood, we are reminded of the enduring power of storytelling to transcend time and space. Across myths, sacred texts, and cultural traditions, the narrative of Noah's Ark serves as a beacon of hope, resilience, and divine promise. In our exploration, may we find not only understanding but also a renewed appreciation for the shared human experience and the timeless quest for meaning in the face of adversity. As we conclude this journey, let us carry forth the lessons gleaned from the floodwaters of antiquity, forging ahead with faith, compassion, and a steadfast commitment to the pursuit of truth. Thank you for watching.